Ahem, today, I'm going to tell you the story of a thousand year door. An awfully long time ago, in a strange and far off land, a big bustling town. It was a town where all people lived very happy lives, and it was said that the town was very prosperous. But one day, tragedy befell this blessed place. A great cataclysm struck the town of people. Darkness filled the sky and the earth shook. It was as if the very world had come to a violent end. And in but a single night, the town sank into the depths of the earth. Many runes rose and set. Stories of the town passed into the pages of fairy tales, and when the town site no longer held the relics of its past, people gathered at the spot and built a new town. But word soon spread among the people who moved in that an ancient city lay deep underground, and that a magnificent treasure rested there. Indeed. This is the tale of the fabled treasure of Rogueport. Yes, this is where it begins in the sea town of Rogueport. The tale of the quest for the legendary treasure and the thousand year door starts here. Finally, I have a minute without turtles. Come all the way here on the holiday only to be stuck with those words that's so stifling. Once in a while I'd like to chance to look around on my own and see what I want. But now that I'm doing it, all I see is that the town is very um distinct flavor. Oh Missy Missy. Oh. Do you mean me? God, it's gonna take me forever to get used to this. Yes, you missy. Once you buy something, I have a wide assortment of knickknacks and doodads. Oh, well, um... Well, that's a very pretty box. What's inside it? It is... Oh, God, that's not either voice. It is so... Oh, but the box has magic lock on it that will only open for a pure and noble heart. As you can see, it won't so much as budge if one as myself touches it. Oh, I know if the box will open for you. But no, wait. oh god, <laughs> I'm sure that whatever it's in there would like to something, something. So, Missy, take this box in your hand and see what happens. Um, all right, what's the harm? I'll try to open it. How's it going everybody? Welcome to a new Let's Play. This is Kevin speaking and today we will be playing Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. As you previously saw, previously saw I am terrible with voicing characters but I don't know how that turned but we'll try it. I'll try to do at least for like the main characters. I don't know if I'll do for every single one. But let's go ahead and begin shall we? I have so much feelings about this like game. Yes, I have so many memories with this game. This ma this game like really made my childhood what it was. This particular game is like it just brings back so much memories because I I grew up with this game. I played it for so much, and I honestly there's so much to say about it that I would recommend you play yourself if you haven't before. But this is my favorite um, Paper Mario game for the most part. Uh, I have played most of the other ones, however this one for some reason by far is my favorite. Okay, Kevon's gonna be my name. So yeah, I spent literally hours in this game and I hope you guys really like enjoy this game as much as I do because I know I am gonna be enjoying this game. Oh god, we got a voice this guy. We got a voice Luigi! Oh, this is gonna be terrible. Let's see, let's see if I can do it. I gotta clear my voice. Mail call! 
At least now it doesn't like auto scroll. <laughs> that was a bit hard to read earlier with Peach and that mystery guy. Oh, this is gonna be tough. Hey, bro! Check it out! A letter from Princess Peach arrives for you. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. I just read it to you. How's that sound? Ahem. Now, let's see here. Hello there, Mario. I am now on holiday traveling in the Mushroom Kingdom. In my travels, I came into possession of a mystical map. A treasure map, actually. It was inside a box I got from an old merchant in a town called Rockport. But since it would be too difficult for me to try and go find the treasure all by myself, I thought you could help me hunt for it. You will? Of course you, won't you? I've included a map with this letter, so please bring it with you when you come. I'll meet you at Rockport. That means you must come. Peach! Mamma mia, what is going on here? What do you know? It's true! There's a weather on the map in here with a better. Check it out! God, I'm terrible at like having an Italian. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, man, this game like it's just so good for me. I, I, I'm sorry. And that is your introduction to Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Now this game is pretty much like an RPG style type game for Mario. Uh, where you pretty much, it's kind of like Pokemon. You select your moves and you attack or like depending on what you choose. It performs an action and your enemy does the same. So, the prologue, here we begin. Hey rogues, welcome. Lovely. Excuse me. Sir? God, it's gonna be <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm terrible voice actor. Please wake up, sir! The daddy will be speaking now fast. Come into view, look, that's Rupert. That's Toad speaking, by the way. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you guys want me to like actually like, try voicing with my, like, my own voice. You see, we'll arrive shortly. Please prepare to the petition park. Hopefully it doesn't sound too, good, too bad for you guys. I must apologize, sir. Our arrival was delayed just a bit by rough weather. Are you quite sure you want to doesn't bark her? I did tell you about the sordid tales about Rockport on our way here, did I not? I'm kind of sounding like Peach right now. What's that? I'm sorry. You say there's a princess waiting for you here? Is that so? Er, of course, sir. Well, if that's the case, if that's what you think, then I won't stop you. But, uh, you be careful, sir. Don't say I didn't warn you. And welcome to Rogueport, everybody. Pretty much the main location for pretty much all your necessary needs. So, let's see. Oi! Welcome to Rogueport. Bit of a nasty place, eh? You got guts coming here. You look a bit green, so I have... A wee bit of advice on me. Hit that same block to save. Cause the thing about life is, you never know when you're gonna hit the old bucket. Okay. Oh, we already talked to you. I get it. So yeah, that's a pretty much a save block. That's where you essentially will save all your things. Hey, what do you want? Get away from me, freak. Oh, oops. Wrong voice. <laughs> oh, come on. Come off it, you airhead. I know it's tough for you, but don't play dumb with me. I've seen you walking around town asking for information about the crystal stars. Well, now I'm doing the asking, so be a good girl and tell us what you know right now. Never! I don't have anything to say to you creeps. Ew! I suppose it wouldn't be right if it has a little lass like you met with in an ultimately demise. A timely demise. Ba 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 ha 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 ha. Boys, we're taking this firebrand to our fortress. 
As you command, Lord Trump. We're on it. No! Stop right there, you weirdos. I'll scream, really? And now here comes your... I don't even know. <laughs> like I'd go anywhere with you, smelly you lunatic like you. Humph. Not likely. I, I can't keep this voice up, guys. What? What do you think you're doing, Chomp? You think you can screw up my plans? <laughs> Gah! It's always something. Looks like I'm going to have to give you a little taste of the crumpa bomb. And here's our first introduction to our first fight. I can't fill this fight. So this is what I mean by it's an RPG style type game. Like, better time, Mr. Man. Just find a way to beat this freak of the week, okay? Don't sweat the details, just jump on him and hit him with your hammer. Oh, I got a hammer. Yes. So you have a few different uh, commands, as, as you said right there. You have to jump, hammer, items, tactics, and a few others which aren't available at the moment. They will become available later in the story. But if we just go ahead and... So we can choose kind of who to land on. So press A just before stomping an enemy. Oh, I messed that up. Sorry. Yes, you're doing awesome. Don't you let up. Uh, I forgot how to like do all this. Let's see. We're, we'll be okay. Come on. There we go. That's what I was talking about. So you can time your jump and it'll hit them like twice. You got them on the ropes. Come on. Keep boiling on him. There you go. And you can do the same thing. Like if you press A uh, whenever he's jumping on you, you pretty much... Uh, Stops him from hitting you. So now we'll try the actual like the hammer this time. So we we'll just time it, and as soon as it hits the vine, just go ahead and just let it, let it go. And there you go. That's your basic gist of what exactly entails for this game. As you progress and more time happens, like you'll level up and have different like weapons and a lot of special abilities. Yeah, I bet you know, but you know the, you get these things called start points when you win the battles. When you get 100 points, you'll go up a level. Don't forget that, okay? Okay. <laughs> Look at that. Perfect! I'm so good at this game. And we got 9 star points. So yes, every 100 star points you get, you level up. Ba, 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 ha, ha. Okay, you got a couple decent shots and I'll give you that. But, unfortunately for you, that means... It's go time! And we get surrounded by a bunch of these little x knots. PUNISH HIM! And we, we make a little gateway. Quick! This way! Phew! What a bunch of loons! Let's just sneak out of here! What are you saying? Yup, I agree with you. Let's go. Um, it's gonna take me a while to get used to all these controls, cause... Okay. We're doing fine. Let's go. Bah -huh? Stop! Birthday go, huh? You, Johnson! Did you see them? Did anyone? Oh, uh, crud! They bolted. Hello. <laughs> oh, mister, you totally saved me. Thanks. I have just got to give you a little reward. A oh, little Goomba gives me a kiss. How cute. My name's Goombella. I'm a student at the University of Goom. Nice to meet ya. So, uh, who are you? I'm uh, Mario. Wait, you mean like that famous guy? Wow, I can't believe I met you here. Cool. Anyway, no offense, but it looks like you just rolled into town yourself, right? Uh huh? Me? I already hate it here. There are freaks and weirdos everywhere. It's nasty. I mean, I know the place is called Rockport, so I shouldn't have expected it, but sheesh! I'd never come to a place like this if there weren't some legendary treasure here. Oh, a legendary treasure? What? You're looking for the legendary treasure too? Seriously? Whoa, 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 bucko, what you got there? 
And look at the background. If you see the background, you can see a little cutscene, which that'll make it obvious in the game itself. Oh my gosh, this, isn't that a treasure map? You have got to tell me where you got that. Well, man, I got it from Princess Peach. Princess Peach? What? Great hoogly boogly! If it did Mario, it's Master Mario. I hope that guy's getting jumped over there. Bit of a coincidence bumping into one another in this sort of place. Hmm? Ho ho! So tell me, Master Mario, what in the world brings you to this wretched little burg? Hmm. Ah, indeed. Prince of Speech sent you on a, a letter and a treasure map. And she told you she'd meet you here in, in Rockport? Intriguing. You're asking me where Prince of Speech is? Erm, um, I was about to ask you that. We stopped in this town to acquire a spot to fuel for our ship, don't you know? I only took my off offer for a moment, but as soon as I did, she vanished. <gasps> you know how headstrong she is, Mario. I just assumed she'd be back momentarily. But at this point, I fear we must embrace the possibility that she may never return. I've been at a loss as to what to do. I've been fraught with worry, I tell you. Uh huh. But I'm feeling better with you here, Master Mario. Surely we'll find her, surely. But I know my place, Master Mario, and this is not... I leave the task to you. Oh. I believe I'll recline in the inn, right over there, and enjoy a spot of tea, perhaps. In fact, I highly recommend it, particularly if you find your HP hearts running low. Just drop on in. Ho ho, anyways, a little rest there will fall. Fill all your HP. Oh, what a nice pun, isn't it? I must say though, the bit, the rest of this town is a bit rough. Yes, rough indeed. Huff, I see. Huff, I see. Um, Princess Peach? Did he mean like Peach, the Mushroom Kingdom Princess? I, I, I hate this voice. I need to change your voice. Uh, uh, <clears throat> the princess who always gets nabbed by Bowser, the Koopa King, the one you rescue. Wait a sec, this is crazy. Princess Peach sent you that treasure map. Whoa, this really is intense. Well, where could you, you think she could have gone? Well, I don't know. I said that terribly wrong. You think maybe she got sick of waiting and went to find the treasure of her on her own? Hmm. Oh, oh, I know Mario. Come with me. One of my professors is here researching that treasure. We'll show him your map. If we start looking for the treasure, then maybe we'll catch up to Peach's Princess Peach. Great, we're all good then. Let's go, Mario. Gumbella joined your party, and this is pretty much just a little, another little aspect of it. You can have little different party members kind of join your party, and they all do spit different like kinds of. So, for her, Gumbella's ability a primer. Press X to get information about near nearby people, places, and objects. This is Rockport Plaza. It's the center of town and the main business district. It's a crossroad where many people meet, including more than a few shady characters. Anytime you press X when there's no one around, I'll tell you where, about where we are. So yeah, she's very knowledgeable about like everything and everyone. That's Goomba, the Goomba. He's always complaining about being swindled or mugged. If you press X and when there's somebody nearby, I'll tell you about him or her. So, did you get all that? Yes, we did, Goombella. Thank you for the information. Goombella can give you hints when she answers. So ask her for information often, and of course Gumbella can be quite helpful in battle too. She jumps in the air to attack enemies with a nasty head bonk. She can also look up enemy HP and we can see with her tally ability, which we will kill, we'll get into eventually. I do plan, I don't know if I do it like for like record most of it, but I do plan to 100% this game at least. First off, we gotta go find my professor. Thing is, since I just got into town myself, I um, don't actually know where he is. So, keep an eye out. Here's what Professor Frankly looks like. So, yes. Now you can see her health bar and everything. And you can start kind of going into like different places around here. So, yeah. Um, we're just going to go ahead and get right on in. There isn't really too much you can do. Hey, by the way, Mario. Have you saved yet? We do not need to save. You see that save block in the middle of the, in front of the end? Since we're here, you ought to save now. Just jump and hit the block to save. Okay? Okay. Eh, whatever. We'll see what we do. Yes. Guys, and there we go. Oops, pardon me, sucker. 
Hey, what's your beef, pal? Yeah, I'm talking to you. <gasps> Mario, you gotta wake up. That guy just stole half your coins. <gasps> he stole half my coins. We gotta go find him. I hate this town. Yes, we're gonna go find his ass because, you know, he's a little, little scared cat. We do need those coins because coins become very important, like, later in the in the story. Right now, they're not too important because mostly what you can buy is, like, items. But I believe he's right over here somewhere. Are you over here, boy? I will end you. Look how beat up this house is. Hi, we found you. <laughs> oh, that was terrible. Ah, uh, fancy meeting you here. You're pretty dang persistent, buddy. What a pain. Fine, fine. Okay, you got me. I'll give you your coins back. Here. Thank you, good sir. Back to 100. And yeah, as pretty much you, you uh, progress through the game, you'll gain different abilities and like different styles of attacking and a bunch of other things. So yeah, I won't go too much into detail this episode since, since this is mostly just an intro introductory kind of episode. So yeah, um, and I believe the professor's house is right here. Yes. Are you here, Mr. Franklin? Professor Franklin! Ah, Mr. Goomba. Oh, hi. There you are, Professor Franklin. What's up? Who's there? Who wants me? Ah, yes. You. Now you, uh... I've seen your face before. Yes, that face. Wait for it. Just a moment. Don't tell me now. Silence. I'll get it right. Um, it's not Gumbriel. Er, it's not Eliza Goom. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, I've got it. You're Gumbella, aren't you? You were in my archaeology class last year, am I right? Wow, yes sir, that's me. I'm Goombella, a junior at Ugoom. Go Goombas! <laughs> so cute. Of course I remember you. Not to toot my own horn, but I'm pretty good at remembering. Are you though? You though, you stick out my mind because you were such an exceptional student. And that guy behind you is... <laughs> Who? <laughs> Mario, professor. He's Mario, you know, the famous one. Oh, my apology. I'm such a bookworm. I haven't a clue about what's hip right now. In any case, what sort of errand brings you to all the way to a place like this? We were hoping you'd tell us about the legendary treasure said to be below Rogueport. I thought that if anyone knew about it, you would be Professor Franklin. Of course I know about it. The reason I came here was to study that very subject. But why do you tell about that? Why do you tell someone to learn about the legendary treasure? You know what most people say, that mostly, I can't even speak, I'm sorry guys. You know that most say it's a little more than a fairy tale, don't you? Archaeologists and historians have to search for treasures in fairy, those fairy tales though. Me, I believe the legendary treasure truly does exist and I really want to find it. Good point, and well made. In that case, I'll cooperate with you however I can. First of all, about the treasure, there are many mysteries surrounding it. Some say it's an infinitely vast treasure hoard, while others claim it's a magical item. Some books say it's actually a monster, while still others claim it's an empty chest. So many different theories, obviously it's impossible to find the truth among them. But I'll agree on one point. To find the treasure, one must have the crystal stars. Indeed, the crystal stars. To find the treasure, your take the seven crystal stars to the thousand year door. You mean, the crystal stars in that old saying that super elder people pass down? Indeed, the same as the saying goes, if you want to find the legendary treasure, you first must collect all the seven stars. Hold the magical map aloft before the entrance to the thousand year door. Then the stars will light the way that leads to the stones of yesterday. Yeah. A lot of the lore I've read says that its magical map is taken to the doorway. Then it'll show you where to find the crystal stars. I promise there's not that much talking once the game actually begins. <laughs> Correct! The thousand year door is supposedly there, they here, deep underneath this town. Yet, the critical piece of the puzzle is the magical map is lost. If only we had that map. But we do have it, Professor, or, well, not we exactly. Mario has the magical map. What? Hambidi, hamba, hambada, whatever, hulfala. Really? You, you actually have it. Could I just take a quick look at it if you don't mind it? Outstanding! This is it! The real thing! The one and only magical map! 
You, son, are my hero. You're great, fantastic, wonderful even. With this, we can find the crystal charge just by holding this aloft before the legendary door. Right on, professor. Good golly, what are we doing just sitting here then? Kumpela, Mario, off we must go this instant. Let's take the magical map to the legendary door. Yes, the legendary door. Let's let's go on ahead and take this to the... I bet you didn't know this Ryan old thing came off, did you? Heh <laughs> heh. Of course he didn't, and he just kind of like throws it off the edge. Okay, we can use this pipe to get under the city street. Come on, both of you, let's go. Okay, let's go, sir. Oh wait, hang on a second, Mario. Something just occurred to me. I'm fairly certain there are a few, quite a few holes be below, so uh, keep your guard up. Of course, we 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 already kind of went through this, so we're just gonna go ahead and click now. Are you a master? Yes. Um, uh, yes, we are a master. A boss, young lad, are you? Very well then. Down we go. Just stand on the pipe and hold down to enter it. So yeah, there's a bunch of different commands like he just said, but we won't go too too in depth with it because it's a long tutorial. Not a long tutorial, but it just it'll it'll be a waste of time since I already kind of know exactly what. Hey, hey, man, what's up? Who's that hottie you got with there with you? That's Gomella. What's up, baby? Why don't you hang with us for a while? We play real nice. Man, that's a fine looking Goomba you doing with a tubby mustache man like that. Oh, it is like so sweet that you boys think I'm so cute. Seriously. Yeah, guys, like you make me feel like a totally barfing. Now, get out of our way. Ouch, that was cold. What, you're too good for us? Come off it, sister. Nobody sings us like that. Nobody. Let's get him. So here's our first actual fight. You can't flee this flight, that's fine. <laughs> the only one I should warn you about is a fellow in the middle, the spiny Goomba. See that spike on his head? Well, jump on that and you're the one who'll take damage. The pair of Goombas are airborne, so your hammer won't reach it. You'll have to jump for him. So, always take your opponent's situation into consideration when fighting, always! Can we, can we start now? Oh, that's right. I forgot to tell you something vital. You can press Y to change the order that you attack in. You can attack first if you feel like the like it, Gumbella. Don't forget that. So yeah, if we go ahead and switch on to her, it pretty much shows us what her attacks are, items, and like different tactics. So just go ahead and click on Tavix. She can defend or run away. We cannot run away from this specific thing, but you can click on items. We have no items at the moment and we can just head bonk or tattle. Now there's a reason why I chose her first. And the reason for that is because I do want to actually kind of, this is one of the main things that you have to do to actually 100% this game. So we'll go ahead and do the Paragoomba because why not? So if we just land it right in the middle, there you go. It tells you a little bit about Paragoomba. That's a Paragoomba basically, a Goomba with wings. I'm jealous. Maximum HP is 2, attack is 1, and defense is 0. You can not hammer it while it's flying, but rough it up and it'll totally plummet. So yeah, that pretty much is, like I said, it shows exactly how much health they have and everything. So, And there you go. Yeah, it's, it's pretty simple, right? You know, you jump on it, it loses its wings. Oh, I forgot to charge. Ah, this is dangerous one. He's got an item. I forgot how to do like. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> okay, next one. We'll actually do... Uh, we'll do the spike Goomba. No, nah, actually, we'll do the regular Goomba. So yeah, it'll... it'll and you can like... You can do a little stylus thing. And it just kind of gives you more points. That's a Goomba, um, yeah, I'm one of those, in case you hadn't noticed. Yeah, you're a low-key Goomba, ahem. It says here, Goombas are underlings of underlings. That is totally rude. Their maximum entry is 2, and they have an attack power of 1 and defense of 0. Oh yeah, it, it's pretty simple for the most part. I mean, it's, the tattle kind of, oh, of course I messed that up. There you go. Of course the, um... Okay, so that one does a little bit more damage, as you saw. And once you get, like, to half health, it starts warning you that you're in danger. So it's pretty simple for the most part. That's a spiking bubble. A spiky headed Goomba. What a creative name. That's a spike. It's super pointy, so it's better to hit hit it with a hammer than jump on it. Maximum HP is 2, attack is 2, and defense is 0. The addition of the spike means you'll hurt your feet if you jump on it. Duh. So, yeah, that's, that's pretty much all it is for the most part. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and... 
And that's what I mean. Style is, there's different mines that can move and they'll give you like extra HP. So, yeah, we need <laughs> we need to trade her. And let's do the Mario. So yeah, the title is kind of a big part of this game. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it to most of these fights. There's different enemies which you'll see like as time goes on. But yeah. Oh, she's all tired. Ha! Ah, later on, losers. That felt awesome. You look all tired. Are you ready, Mario? There are plenty more where they came from, and they'll all have it out for us. When they attack, try to hammer them or jump on them while in the field. Attack successfully, and you can perform a first strike when you enter the battle. So if any enemy catches sight of you, be sure to dump them as you go into battle. So yeah, it's, this is kind of a platform game also, because you have different like abilities. As you will see, like as we progress more through this game, so yeah, it's 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 basically a 3D Mario game, but like with an added RPG style. Pretty simple. But let's continue on forward, shall we? And this is what he was talking about, like first instance. So if we just go ahead and jump on him, there you go. You struck first, so now we don't need. We get an extra attack on top of the attack we already did. There you go. It's, it's pretty simple, right? Easy three stars right there. Once you tattle a enemy, you don't have to tattle them again. So that, that's a nice thing about it. Come on, dude. Okay. There we go. And yeah, you have different things. So the firepower, the little thing, flowers in the middle, they give you a special attack, which we don't have any at the moment. So you'll have to wait to see that. And we get a mushroom. You got an item. So yeah, it just pretty much tells you all the... Oh, he, we missed that guy. Nothing special and more stars. Oh, they also dropped like hearts and like flowers location as you just saw. So, we'll location and get like little things like that. Can we just break these? There we go. I think you're supposed to go down there. I don't think there's anything over there just yet. Though we're still not high enough level for all any of that stuff. But if we just go ahead and come on right over here, we get this little, little bug thing. Oh, look, a new one. This game is a little, well I wouldn't really say grindy, because it is pretty easy to level up as you continue on forward with this game. Let me just press this little blue button that I can't even press. Mm, this video is running a bit long, but I think it's fine. And on that note, guys, we are going to end the video off here. It's getting a bit longer than I really like. I typically don't like to make videos this long. But this is a prologue, so I feel it's important to like give you guys as much information as I can. Like, pretty much this early on. So, yeah. Anyways, as always, guys, I really appreci appreciate everything that you guys want watch and enjoy these videos because it, it helps me out a lot if you like this episode and you, if you subscribe also if you haven't already because i plan to like make this, make this an ongoing series this game was really like close to my heart growing up and i plan to continue on doing that but yeah anyway guys that's gonna be it thank you all for watching Bye bye